Located in northwest Arkansas, with headwaters originating in the Boston Mountains, the Buffalo River is America's first national river. Designated in 1972, the Buffalo has been protected and allowed to flow freely and unhindered by development. This wild river has slowly carved its path through the heart of the Ozarks, through limestone bluffs and fertile valleys. Our goal was to paddle the river in its entirety, to be present and become acquainted with its pulse. Our journey would take us 144 miles down the entire canoeable stretch, beginning in Boxley, Arkansas and ending in Norfolk, just past the Buffalo's confluence with the White River. The Buffalo's flow is heavily dependent on rainfall and can easily go from impassable to flood stage in a matter of hours. We had been waiting for a window, and when it presented itself, we took it. Welcome to the Wild One. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Sweet. Man, so tomorrow we're starting the Buffalo River. It's been a couple of years, tri a trip a couple of years yeah. in the making. Plan is week long on the Buffalo River. Gonna canoe the whole thing, about 140 miles. And uh, we're just packing up tonight, hit the road first thing in the morning, and uh, get on the water sometime mid afternoon, probably. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Well, we are on our way this morning. It's about 7 o'clock. Got up around 4 30 ish and uh, packed up. We're in Salem Springs now, just picked up some extra gear from my brother that we're borrowing, and then we're gonna drive out to Norfolk, drop a car, and uh, then head back to the put-in, which is gonna be in Boxley. That's the game plan for now. Got a couple more hours on the road, and then uh, we should be good to go. So, catch you, catch you guys later. All right, we're in Norfolk, Arkansas, on the White River. Just gonna be dropping Chase's car, and, uh, Load everything up into mine and head to our put in. But yeah, we'll hopefully not be seeing this spot for about a week. So yeah. At this point, just like driving back to the trailhead and I guess our put in. That's the plan at this point. Put us on the Buffalo River, but it's 11 o'clock now. I think we'll get there probably. We'll probably be on the water by around one. Yeah. So I mean, it's cold out there. <laughs> Like seeing icicles, place. yeah. Which I'm excited for. It'll be cool. Not everyone gets to go canoeing right. in a nice storm. Man, well, it's 32 right now, so hey, it'll melt. So it'll it'll melt hopefully, and it's supposed to get up into the 60s this week, so we'll see what happens. All right, we made it. We made it to the trailhead or our put in, which happens to be the trailhead for the BRT. Right across the road over here is Smith Creek, and it looks like there's going to be enough water uh, to kind of take it down, use it as a channel to get us to the Buffalo River, which is kind of at the base of those hills over there. What do you think, Chase? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> We've got ice. We've got ice. Oh my God. We've got snow. Oh my word. Yeah, it's cold out. First time canoe sledding. <laughs> Yeah, that's a first. <laughs> All right. Ready, Buffalo River, 2022, February. <laughs> All right. Ooh, there's a lot of rocks. Where do you want me to pull up to for you to get out? I think a little bit more. Okay. Almost enough water in this creek to actually paddle. <laughs> yeah. right. So what we can do now is like, if you want to undo your rope, we can just line with this, just kind of get it through these rapids. Mm 
we let the current kind of work to our advantage, push it out. In the... Once we get it over this side. And then it's all about just letting the current. So now you're going to want to pull a little bit. And we just kind of maneuver it. It's actually probably good for us to practice this because yeah, it's kind of a, a little bit more of a technical school. Yeah. I'll push it over. Oh, yep. Water's in over the boots now. Yep. I think we just got to commit here. Yeah, it's just, at this point, we'll get warm at the fire. in time it's getting dark chase got the tent set up got our gear for the bed set up in there just getting our fire going and uh hopefully get some uh hopefully get some good food in the system all right well what a day it's probably 
It's probably in the 20s right now, I would guess. Probably. It's very cold. It's really cold. <laughs> Our clothes froze because we got them cold. We got them wet during the day. We're at Steel Creek Campground tonight. Probably got about eight miles today. It was a lot of white water, and it was uh, just a couple hours that we got in paddling. Water yeah. levels were great, a lot of fun, but man, we are very cold. Yeah. So we're very glad to be in a tent right now in our sleeping bags and hoping tomorrow's a little bit warmer. Amen. <laughs> cool. Man, it was a cold night. <laughs> it was definitely in the 20s. Um, we're pretty cozy in the tent for the most part, but getting out of bed this morning was really tough. Finally got a fire going, um, got some water on for some oatmeal, and uh, then I think the game plan for this morning is to just get everything organized, packed up, um, kind of get a game plan for, for where we want to be um, later today, because we didn't make it as far as we wanted to yesterday, but we did get started later, so that was fine. We made it to Steel Creek, and that's where we are now. So this is more of like a, it's an actual campground, but it ended up being really nice for the first night, just having a little bit extra comfort. Um, be able to kind of spend some time organizing, getting things set up. So um, looking forward to seeing what today holds, but uh, hopefully it's not as cold as yesterday. So. And it's just supposed to get warmer as the week goes on, so I think we're going to be good, but man, what a start. Relatively right. So yeah. Um, yeah, but river right for the most part. Once we get around that little stick, we do a bank to the right, kind of follow the channel. Pretty much stay middle. It should be good. There's a couple of ledges in here though. So just be ready. Here we go. All right. Woo! Here's the ledge. Yeah, baby. Woo! We got one more up there. Another slide, I think. Or a full on drop. <laughs> nice, nice.
Just a quick break. Just finished a bunch of runs, huh? Yeah. Went through Hell's Top AK where I was landing. Yeah. And uh, we're going to celebrate with a Snickers bar. So that'll be nice. Cheers. Cheers. New, new river to come, huh? All right. More rapids. Hopefully make it a few more miles today. And then stop somewhere maybe around 3 o'clock. And uh, set up camp 3 to 4, somewhere in there. But see where we get. Yeah, I think we can just park it there. Yeah. I think just we're gonna camp up here on this uh, cliff tonight, maybe. See what we get. So, pull her in. Maybe park her right in here. See what happens. Well, I think this is gonna be our home for the night. Getting a lot of sun right now, which will be nice. We've got this spot down here. Probably build a fire. Put our tent up there. But the view is pretty stunning. Pasta tonight. Chase is dicing up the veggies. We got this. We're gonna be putting some water on the fire soon. And then we're gonna, we got bacon bits, spices. We have pasta sauce, dehydrated. Carrots and bell peppers that we're gonna throw on the grill. And, um, man, I think it's gonna be pretty good. I agree. Okay. We got our pasta. 
We got bacon bits in it, tomato chunks. Oh, it's fantastic. And then we get to go to bed with this view.